Welcome to Hubs Recabs, today we are going to explain the movie Thor, Love and Thunder, spoilers ahead take care, the movie begins with Gore carrying his daughter in search for any assistance, he even pleads with the god to take his life, but redeem his daughter in the concert for help, her daughter grabbed her final breath and dies in his arms, after getting himself together, he buried his daughter in the time of persistent loss of faith, he noticed a bright light calling him he then unexpectedly appeared in front of a forest, and then he lunges into the water, he goes around and got something to eat, after months the god to whom he adores every time suddenly arrived in front of him, Gore got pleased to see his god and requested for assistance, and says that all his kingdom have been dead, due to the dehydration and shortage of care, but that doesn't appear to be displeasing him as he makes mockery of his loyalty, his god also explains that other gods are sending armies to eliminate his kingdom, with the evil and cursed neck resort, Gore discovers that the gods utilizes them as their baits and that the sacrifice of his daughter signifies nothing to him, he began to distrust in his god explaining that he can't be a god if he doesn't look after his people, making him furious. He stood up and explains that his sacrifice would be a wonderful cause for his new kingdom that he will establish, unexpectedly the cursed necrosaur selects Gore providing him a valid reason to stop the worshipping of all the gods, Gore stabs the necros word into his throat ultimately killing his god. At that very instant Gore determined to kill all the gods in this universe for peace, at the modernist guard Trax is explaining the life story of Thor to the local kids, he explains that after he entered the guardians he worked out day and night and reclaimed his physical body, but after many battles alongside the guardians his agony didn't die away as he recalled his love Jane Foster, Thor abandons the storm breaker on the ground and began locating peace in his life on earth, we seize. Jane Foster laying in hospital struggling and battling with her stage 4 cancer, after Jane reads a book exemplifying the powers of the male near, and also noting that male near also assists in healing any ailments, seeing this as a possibility for a new life, she determined to use the powers of male near to cure her cancer, at the newest guard we see that Valkyrie has become the new president and visitors from all around the world comes to visit the Asgardian world, Jane appearing at the new Asgard arrives across at the broken pieces of the male near, being close to the male near she feels a lot good and also its pieces began moving, Thor departs from the guardians after getting a distressed signal from Sif, upon appearing a beaten Sif cautions Thor of a nexus, becoming a being. Possessing the god-killing weapon the Necros word, pursuing the extinction of all gods as vengeance for ignoring the death of his family, he also tells that his second target is going to be the newest guard, at night Gore attacks newest guard with his supernatural being, learning about the report Valkyrie. And Thor arrives and began slaughtering down the beasts, Thor then discovers a thunder lightning around and smashing all the beings, and realizes that it's his former hammer male near, when he lifts his hands to invoke the hammer melee reforged bonds itself to Jane, after realizing her worthiness granting her the power of Thor, Drex then tells us about the relationship between Thor and Jane, and how greatly they both loves each other, but as the time passes their duties began interrupting their relationship, and one day Jane left a message for Thor and departed, Thor is shocked to find Jane alive with male near, with no time to spend Thor with the assistance of Valkyrie Korg and Jane began finding Gore into shadow creatures, the squad is skilled to afford Gore but he flees capturing several Asgardian offspring, the following day everyone is becoming troubled for their kids safety, but Thor guaranteed them that they will locate the kids and bring them back unharmed, later Thor notifies Jane about the Necro Sword and how it can eliminate anything in just a matter of time, unexpectedly Axel shows up in front of them by utilizing his powers which he got from his father Handau, Axel then utilizes his magic to have Thor see the conception of their place, he then notifies them that they have been caught inside a cage, and that he should assist them as quickly as possible, Thor guaranteed him that they are on their way and that they just need to be sympathetic, the group then went on the ship to travel to Omnipotent City to alert the other gods, and request for their assistance, the Olympic god Zeus is not willing to assist declaring that he cannot do anything to assist him, nevertheless Thor attempts to make him understand that all their lives are in threat, but Zeus sees Thor compelling the team to battle off his team, Zeus heavily wounds Korg, in outrage Thor stabs Zeus with his own thunderbolt in his chest making him fall to the ground, they then find their path out by bringing in the ship and also Valkyrie steals the thunderbolt during their break out, on their path to rescue the kids Thor acknowledges to Jane about his love, and that he will take her with this cancer and certainly she will find his ailment and get well, they both then make out before reaching the shadow realm, nevertheless this proved to be a deception for Gore to grab. 
Stormbreaker, which he plans to use on the Bifrost to come into eternity, and inquire for the devastation of all gods, Gore manages to subdue Thor's teens and stabs Valkyrie in the back, making Thor furious then uses his entire strengths against Gore, after getting enough with Gore Thor unlocks the bot forest and attempts to escape, though Gore manages to snatch the Stormbreaker, they all then got teleported back to planet Earth, Gore utilizes Stormbreaker to unlock a portal to eternity, with Valkyrie and Jane injures Thor, determined to confront Gore alone, he then meets with the kids and concluded to give his thunder powers to every child, and their weapons to battle alongside with him, Thor hold on Gore when Jane engages in the fight even when she was battling with cancer, and eradicates. The Necros word accepting his defeat, Gore manages to certify Thor that all he needed from eternity was not to eliminate the gods, but to have his daughter back, Jane who have got enough and that her cancer has seized her, had a last chat with Thor before succumbing to her sickness and give up in Thor's arms, eternity enables Gore's request to awake his daughter and he requests Thor to take care of his daughter, before dying from the impacts of the Necros word, all the kids then went back to New Asgard where Valkyrie and Sif started tutoring them, meanwhile Thor now in custody of Maelnir proceeds to go on adventures to assist people with love, and now exerting Stormbreaker by his side, in a mid credit scene a wounded Zeus can be seen making us realize that he overcame the attack, Zeus authorizes his son Hercules to murder Thor and take his vengeance, in a post credit scene Jane Foster appears at a different place which most seems like heaven, there she meets with Heimball who informs her that she is dead and then receives her to the Valhalla, with these scenes we can all speculate that the story of Thor is way extended than we anticipated. This brings us to the end of the movie I hope you do like it, and please do subscribe to this channel for more videos like this, as we do bring you more of your favorite movies, thanks for watching and see you soon.